And throughout occupied Palestine, they do not accept the Zionist state at all. The time is very limited, unfortunately, and like we were saying, we had to come out to such a mournful occasion where we have the Makba, we to commemorate the Makba, and it had to be on a day, a day that we have to commemorate the last link in this long, sorrowful chain of, of these atrocities that they are committing, the Zionist state of Israel, that they've killed Shereen al Abu Akkal, and I, I've been demonstrating together. We've had to many years. We've we've been actually reporting on what's happening there. This is not only a tragedy, but this is a, this is a, an inhumane crime. But we call it ungodly. Her memory will hopefully, inshallah, change. That it will make this final catalyst that the world, we hope and we pray, will recognize that the entire occupation has nothing to do with the conflict of religion. All the religions, the Jewish religion says you are not allowed to steal or kill, you're not allowed to have a Jewish state, and they will realize that the Zionist occupation is simply a political, selfish, unjust movement, and that it has to be removed if it is removed. If it is removed, we can once again live together as we've had for hundreds and hundreds of years in peace as brothers and sisters. We have to have our politicians know this. God will help. Let's just not be intimidated. Let us speak up and, and that ultimately pray to the Almighty who in His hands is everything that He should bring an end to the occupation. Free, free Palestine! Coming to the stage, he has been in our community for so 